This year, April 8, I will be 29 years old. I'm not ready to accept my Egypt. Even though I'm uh, quite young, I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis. I have a crappy job. I make $200 a month. Most of the money I spend on myself and groceries comes from the support of my laws, my grandmother, or brother, sister who weighs 440 feet and has a bear. I have a pile of advice slips in my wallet because I am obliged to give to relatives so that they know what I spend their money on. Recently, I bought myself a 14 terabyte hard drive. It cost me that I did not cure my tooth. I feel like I can support my work computer enough. I am not happy with my life since 2019. It seems to me that I live the wrong life, do the wrong things. Making music doesn't bring me any profit at the moment. Previously, I thought that if I invested in making music for games for free, it would give me fame and a paid job in the future. It passes, but nothing changes. It just gets worse. Making music gave me personal achievements in my self-realization. I dreamed of understanding understanding and learning how to make music with style that's similar to the one that makes my music idol. I began again in my I made music for games that I previously dreamed of and that I'm a fan of. I would never have thought that my idol Hadiken Neganima would be inspired by my tracks to create his new one. I'm very pleased that my music is listened to by music lovers all over the world, perhaps in all countries of the world, except for the Netherlands. Okay. Life was definitely not lived in vain. But in order to keep making music better and better to improve production, I definitely need money and as soon as possible. The market for music composers is crowded. I'm superfluous in this industry because of my status as an unknown local underground musician. No one takes me seriously. In order to stand out, I need advertising. I need music videos. I need cool, talented artists. It all costs money that I can't afford. I feel like I'm not evolving. I'm just banging my head against an invisible wall. This is making me very depressed. I think I should leave my business. Something similar happened when I was a vlogger. I'd properly monetize my talents then I couldn't now. I should discover a new talent in myself. Learn new things, try to earn money, earn savings. After that, I will resume my musical activity again. Time moves fast. I'm not sure that by the time I'm ready to make music again, my creativity will not dry up with age. I haven't made music for over three months now. In my spare time, I just lie in bed and procrastinate. January 5 began a series of terrifying events. I saw the new Bomb Rush Saga from trailer. Every new media release, every news about this game drives me crazy. And every time I start to go crazy, this game does not give me rest. I would cut off my arm, cut off my penis, sell my kitty, kill my parents, grandpa, grandma, cat, I'm gone, bow, bow, bow. I would sell my soul to the devil just to have my music put into a video game. The absence of me in this game is the greatest injustice. The biggest fellow in my life, my high ambitions and distant dreams are my virtue. They are also my curse. This game is the embodiment of my unrealized fantasies that I can fulfill. The painful memory of this game, my depression and winter blues, had all drove me crazy. I began to be very aggressively and inadequately. I broke off relationships with many people, which were all worse than my well-being. For almost a week I could not sleep properly. Every night I thought about suicide. This has never happened to me in my entire life. I couldn't wake up normally. My sleep pattern was badly messed up. I began to eat less, my appetite also deteriorated. I couldn't work with it, I couldn't concentrate on other things. It was probably the worst period of my life. I even considered locking myself up in a psychiatric hospital to be isolated from my suicide attempts, attempts to slander my colleagues and just random people. Dion, I'm so sorry for pushing too hard. Too much hard, by that I mean extremely hard. It would be on all reasonable limits. I guess that I'll always be blaming myself for not taking any part of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. My selfishness, my extremely high ambitions and obsession with the other Dikinic Enema. All these things are that about my problem, not your problem. I never wanted to interfere with you, the development of your game. I wish you to release the game as soon as possible. I apologize to the people on your Discord server, whose stupidity and viciously scoffed at. 
I apologize to all the strangers on Twitter who got caught in my shitstorm. I want to apologize to all the people from the Discord server Jetset Radio, including fellow musicians we've worked on games together. My claims were addressed to a certain number of people, but it turned out that I hurt everyone else. I was in such a fit of rage. I was not ready for a full discussion. Oh, proud Meryl Berg Chudel. I didn't mean you when I said that speech. Sure to drag you into this. I apologize to all the game developers I have worked with. Feel that captain tragic by my actions. I knowingly ruined the reputation of your teams, your games. Yes, I didn't know all definitions of the word harassment. Sorry for the misunderstanding. And sorry for my gun, I accidentally called you a male. In Tragio all right from the start. I am very ashamed that this happened. There is no excuse for this. I'll try not to do that again. Let this be the most powerful freak out of all time, the worst period in my life. If only I could turn back time and prevent all these terrible consequences. Just gotta delete really tweets fast. I have to exceed the speed of light far beyond speed of light. But to break the rules, Sashko gotta do it now. It's a radio future. Make your own jets and radio pass. That's all. It's a radio right now. <laughs> <laughs>